I'd take the long way home if it meant I'd go walking by your door. Together we could see where the road will lead to the unknown. There is no end if you believe. Just take my hand and come with me. Sun coming up, you make my world come alive. Oh, you know I can't get enough. You walking by my side, you are my Song I sing, you're the melody, you're my golden glow. I see it in your eyes, you radiate the light that leads me home. There is no end if you believe. Just take my hand and come with me. Sun coming up, you make my world come alive. Oh, you know I can't get enough. You are my sunshine. Oh, you're like the sun coming up. You make my world come. On behalf of uh, Coda, Natalie, and the family, I just want to welcome everyone here to this beautiful place to be uh, witnesses to what's going to take place here this afternoon. We've gathered here today in the sight of God and in the presence of your friends and your family, those who love you very much, to celebrate what Dakota and Natalie are about to do to join into holy matrimony together. Now the Word of God, the Bible, tells us that marriage is the most important of all earthly relationships between a man and a woman. And marriage should be entered into thoughtfully and with the full understanding of the sacredness of what you're doing today. Dakota and Natalie, you're getting married because you both love each other. And true love will help your marriage to stand the test of all the things that you will encounter over time. Now love is very important in your marriage and unconditional love must be permanent in your marriage. And for this to take place, the Holy Bible says this to both of you, how you are to love each other.
your love needs to be patient and kind. It's never to be jealous or envious. It never needs to be boastful or should it ever be proud. Your love is never to be condescending or selfish or rude. True love for each other does not demand its own way and it's not irritable or is it touchy. The love that you have for each other should never hold grudges and it should never notice when others do wrong to it. You see, you two, if you love each other this way, you'll always be loyal to each other no matter what the cost. You'll always believe in each other and you'll always expect the best of each other. And you'll always stand your ground defending each other. And if you both choose to love the way that God would want you to love, you'll always have a strong and blessed marriage and nothing shall cause it to shake. Natalie, looking back on that December night at Carbon High texting Jordan if you were single or not, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Little did I know that it would be the best decision of my life. We have gone on so many adventures together and have covered all corners of the world. I can't imagine doing it with anyone else. Natalie, you are my person that I can go to for advice, my shoulder to lean on, and the person I cannot wait to see at the end of each day. Shortly after dating, I knew you would be my wife one day. I was just so worried I wasn't ready to take the role of a husband. You have helped me achieve most of my goals to be a better person and to do anything I set my mind to. You have never questioned any wild hair that I seem to come up with each, each week. We have been through so much. Our first house, multiple snowmobile trips where you usually have to help me back to the truck, <laughs> or our first animal child, and so much more. Animal with, child. <laughs> <laughs> with that being said, we have already done so much and I cannot wait to see what the future holds because the last seven years have been nothing but the best. I don't think I could survive without you, Natalie. I love you so much and look forward to spending the rest of my life loving, cherishing, and doing anything to please you. I love you, Chavez. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Coda, we made it. All the stress, chaos, and long nights for this moment right here. Me and you. Almost seven years ago, you came into my life and we never looked back. All the memories we have created, adventures we've been on, and the families we've gained, I wouldn't trade for the world. I still remember when you walked into sixth grade with a fresh perm and thinking, he's pretty cute. <laughs> or playing MASH and putting your name at the top of the list. We're all, all we're missing now is a mansion, sports car, and 432 kids. <laughs> I choose you. I promise to love you unconditionally, support you on your good days and your bad. I promise to laugh until our stomachs hurt. I promise to cry with you on the hard days. I promise to guide you. I promise to challenge you to always be better. And I promise to always be your best friend. I love you. Coda, do you take Natalie to be your wife? Do you promise to love her, honor her, cherish her, and protect her, forsaking all others, and holding only uh, unto her forever? If so, say, with God's help, I will. With God's help, I will. Natalie, do you take Dakota to be your husband? Do you promise to love, honor, cherish, protect him, forsaking all others, and holding only unto him forever? If so, say, with God's help, I will. With God's help, I will. I promise to have and to hold. And in sickness and in health. For richer or for poorer. In joy and sorrow. I promise my love to you. With this ring. I take you as my husband. I take you as my wife. For as, as long, long as, as we both shall, shall live. Dakota and Natalie, by the power that's been invested in me as a minister of the word of God, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. You can kiss her, Dakota. Folks, uh, it's my pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Dakota Lance. Steady through the highs and lows Closer than your skin and bones 
friends, I'll be here for you. I'll be here for you. Shining in your darkest night, holding your heart in mine. I'll be here for you. I'll be here for you. I'll carry you through heartache and trouble and nothing drag you down. I want you to know I won't let you go. Give me your heart and soul. We'll never let this love grow cold. I'll be the one to give you rest. I'll be here for you. I'll be here for you. I'll carry you through heartache and trouble and earth and drag you down. I learned over time that not only is Dakota lucky to have Natalie, she's just as lucky to have him. I've gotten the opportunity to have front row seats in watching you meet, blossom, support each other and build this beautiful relationship that you have together. I cannot wait to continue to watch you guys exceed all expectations of true love. Dakota, ever since I met you, you've been clinging alongside my sister. I love that about you. I don't ever want you to change that. I want you to be there for her every time I call her, every time I text her, every time I see her. Before I knew it, Dakota was sneaking away to spend every minute over at Natalie's house. I have to admit, though, at the start of their relationship, I was so mad because before Natalie, Dakota was my buddy and mine only. But now I have learned Instead of being mad or sad about the changes in our relationship, I can be happy that I have another person to share them with. We wish this day to be the start of the best times of your life. To the new Mr. and Mrs. Lance. But there's no mountain.